Hi guys, it's Ben here, and although it's been a quiet Liverpool news day as far as transfers are concerned, could something that Chelsea are doing have a big impact on Virgil van Dijk's future? So according to the Mail, Chelsea have agreed a fee with Roma for centre-back Antonio Rudiger. A bid of 30 million plus 3.5 million in add-ons appears to have been accepted and Chelsea look like they are going to strengthen that defence having been frustrated in their attempt to sign Leonardo Bonucci and Virgil van Dijk. Now there have been rumours about Rudiger over the last few days but now it seems like a deal has been agreed and this one may actually happen. Have Chelsea surrendered in their pursuit of van Dijk? That's what it looks like to me, maybe the case. If they're going to spend 30 million on Rudiger, can they really afford to buy van Dijk too for around 60 or 70 on top? of Romelu Lukaku who possibly could join for 80 to 100 million. They may want to strengthen in midfield too. 60 million pound rated Alexandro is also still a target. So maybe this is the centre back they're going to sign this summer. That sounds like great news for Liverpool. That's pretty much a free run at Virgil van Dijk now. It's just a case of obviously convincing Southampton to sell and that's obviously not going to be easy. There's still no update on that. We still have to wait. Nothing new has come out about that. We still know Liverpool want the player and he wants to move. But of course no bid has been accepted and I think it's going to be a long time before we see anything like that happen. I mean the fact that Chelsea have moved on and looks like they're going to go for Rudiger could be seen as them giving up on Southampton selling or they may have just thought that the fact that Van Dijk wanted to go to Liverpool put them off completely or they may have been told that he just wants to go to Liverpool and nowhere else. For me this is a good thing and our biggest competitor in terms of signing Van Dijk have now seemingly exited the race. Elsewhere today reports in Mercato 365 in France have linked the Reds with another left back. This time it's the Brazilian Dolbert Henrique. He made 38 appearances for Nice last season having signed for 2 million from Vittorio Guimaraes and he's also played left midfield for them too so that might be some versatility that Klopp fancies in his side but of course let's not take this one at face value it is reported in France we haven't heard anything from the Merseyside journalists on this one so it just may be a case of an agent linking Liverpool to a left back because he knows they need one for me Andrew Robertson is still the player we end up signing and I'm pretty content with that. Also today Lacazette has passed his Arsenal medical as I mentioned yesterday I think this is a great move for them I can only be jealous fair play I think he's going to score lots of goals for them. Manchester United continue to be linked with Alvaro Morata I think that's another one that's going to take so long may not even be done until August but they may sell Wayne Rooney back to Everton that's something that's been doing around today would that make sense and would that be a sufficient replacement for Romelu Lukaku at the Toffees or would they look to sign another striker I'm just not sure that Sandro Ramirez and Wayne Rooney would be anywhere near good enough to replace Lukaku's goals up front but I'm sure with the money they're spending and they'll have something else planned too. So that's all for today. It's been a really quiet day on the transfer news front. Hopefully over the next few days we'll get some more news on Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Naby Keita, Virgil van Dijk, Andrew Robertson and anything else that may be going on. Leave a comment with whether you think Chelsea looking at Rudiger could mean that Liverpool have a free run at Virgil van Dijk. Does this clear the path for the Reds to go and get the centre-back that they so desperately want this summer? And will Southampton sell to us? It's going to go on for some more time. We can't help but talk about it for a little while longer. Hopefully we'll get some news soon. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel channel for more of this sort of stuff and follow my other socials it's Ben My Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.